Hey folks, Brian, I've got another um, Far Horizons update. Um, remember, may you remember from last time that uh, we stopped play when we saw uh, some sort of nuclear blast go off over by the Capitol. Um, <clears throat> Um, also during the session, Dylan got a chance to work with his linguistics skill, try and gain some um, uh, capacity with the local language, which he did really well on that role. I don't know if it was a critical or a special, but he got some decent percentages. <laughs> uh, anyway, Dylan, personal log. Yeah, if we saw the explosion, we... We gotta go see what's going on there. Plus, our ship is over by the capital. We need to find out if it's been, you know, completely destroyed or what. Or and then, what are we gonna do? So we head, <clears throat> we head east, and uh, we run into uh, there, there's a section of the road. The highway kind of is a Y at a certain spot, and uh, when we get to that spot, the north section of the Y, there's this huge crevice there. Um, and on our side of the crevice are a number of military vehicles, uh, jeeps, a couple trucks, that kind of thing. We do manage to um, cannibalize enough vehicles to get two of them running, plus we grab extra spare parts kinds of things, tires, fan belts, batteries, that kind of stuff, just in case. And then we take um, uh, the road southeast, which we had not been on because we came from the capital on the, on the north route. And as we get uh, further and further uh, down closer to the capital, we can see that um, there's like a tidal wave or something that had just come in. And so a whole lot of the land is flooded. Um, you can see that there's a, the capital is there, so it has not been hit. Um, but there's some kind of other cataclysm that caused all kinds of uh, structural damage in the, in the surface, the crust of the earth here. Um, so as we're heading southeast-ish, um, we hear some gunfire. So we go and investigate. Um, we find some kind of a camp with a bonfire burning and staked around this bonfire are a number of bodies. Um, some have been shot, some have arrows or stab wounds in them. So we're not sure what, what's going on around here. Um, so we decide, okay, let's, let's get out of here. So we skedaddle. Um, uh, we get down finally closer to, uh, to the capital on, on the, the plane there. Uh, the capital build, uh, capital city is on, uh, out, of, out of the mountains and hills where we were. And we have to go across um, some um, fording site kind of thing from the standing water that's still here from whatever happened. Uh, we find a farmhouse um, that's being attacked by these people riding giant lizards. Um, we engage and we rescue a girl and uh, this brother and sister. Uh, it's kind of funny because call these the lizard people. <laughs> Everyone's like, they're not lizards. No, they ride lizards. Um, the girl uh, leads us to another farmhouse um, where there's a, a boy hiding out there in his cellar. Um, he actually happens a weapon cache. Apparently these two are a couple kind of thing. Um, as she was apparently watching the, the brother and sister, they're, they're littler. Um, so we outfit ourselves, sport rifles, military small arms, some pistols. So I get three, got six, and a 45 ACP. Um, and everybody else grabs some weapons as well. And then uh, we take them with us, keep them safe from these marauding lizard rider guys. We go in and try to check out the capital. On the way, there's a couple of uh, spots where the girl tells us to go a different way, so we do some side road stuff. Um, and it turns out there are roadblocks set up 
in certain places. <clears throat> so we're bypassing a lot of that stuff. But we get into the city, we head over to the docks, and the entire dock section, what used to be the, um, the starport, um, is completely underwater. Um, there are a whole bunch of ships that are up on land here in the dock area. Um, and then a lot of it's been submerged. So we start thinking, okay, we've got to find our ship. We need to get like some scuba gear or something and go looking for our ship. <clears throat> so we go checking out some boat stuff and everything's been picked through. Um, we do find a, uh, a ship like a freighter that apparently people have been hoarding stuff to and they're like camping out on. So we, we decide to avoid that. But we, we can't seem to find anything we can use to help try and find our ship. So we head back uh, to the compound. As we're driving through town, we, we know we're being followed by somebody, but we managed to lose them. And then we get back to the, the girl's house. And the boy starts digging in the ground. Um, in front of the uh, barn. So what kind of what, what's he doing? What's he doing? But he doesn't dig too much. Just you know, down a few inches, and he gets some boards. Starts pulling boards out, and it turns out that they've got a hidden fuel tank down there. So we jury rig a bunch of hoses <laughs> and anything we can connect together um, to, to fuel up our, our trucks. Um, and so we get topped off. Um, the girl and the boy and the brother, little brother and sister, they say they'll be okay and they stay there. Um, and we take off back, we get to the compound, um, and lo and behold, Robin is there. And, uh, log. <laughs> that was the thing, because we're all ready to stab Robin in the back. We see Robin, I pull out my dagger. Because uh, we... We feel that Robin set us up. It turned out those crates that we took um, were full of weapons, or one crate was at least full of weapons, and they had other myths stuff. This was not food and supplies for a, a city or a village, the commune, who was not getting their support. So we're, and when we got there, remember the guys pulled guns on us, put us in the ground. Yeah, and they actually took us captured. Um, we stayed overnight in the upper. Uh, room of, of the main house there um, under guard. They took all our stuff. And uh, the next day, uh, Siva showed up. Um, we had a little discussion at the table, kind of smoothed things out. Uh, she was upset with what some of the other folks, other guys were doing, that kind of thing. Um, sometimes people don't think what they had. But that eventually kind of mellowed out. Um, so we show back up and there's Robin. <laughs> Happy gaming.